five dupe perfumes that are so good you don't need the original. So when it comes to a lot of these fragrances, you'll be surprised that they do reverse engineer the original and they come so close to it that instead of saving, instead of spending, I should say, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you can save a considerable amount of money. I'm gonna let you know about these perfumes, some for men, some for women, in just a second, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I tell you about these five dupe perfumes that are so good, you don't need the original. Honestly, these can be worn very comfortably in place of the original, which costs hundreds of dollars on many occasions. I wanna start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, and of course, if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So let's just go ahead and jump into the list Instead of getting Valaya by Parfum de Marly, and I know the ladies love this one, it's marketed for women. This is a sparkling, juicy orange blossom fragrance. It has this resolute musk ingredient in the dry down, and I really admire the longevity and the performance of this fragrance. It's incredibly diffusive as well, and I can see why Valaya is such a top choice among ladies, one for the office, indoor environments, but also spring and summer. I just think it's so very bright and sparkling, and it conveys a really nice personality for the hotter weather. Here is one similar presentation. This one is by Ainache Parfum, and this one is called Fleur de Paris. This is such a beautiful take on Valaya by Parfum de Marly. They both have that frosted glass finish, finish, and they smell very, very similar. And let me tell you something, the Ainache lasts a very, very long time. So no slouch in the performance department, and I really admire that. Instead of getting Bitter Peach by Tom Ford, and of course, I love this fragrance. I purchased it before it came out, believe it or not. And this is a fragrance that has this peach and patchouli dry down. And the patchouli in here is a little reminiscent of Angel by Thierry Mugler, especially once you give it a chance to dry down, but the peach is very juicy, very realistic smelling. And I love it for that reason. Of course, there's a lot of other peach-based perfumes out there that I truly love. Um, Peach's Revenge being one of them. And then, of course, there's also another one by Gentleman's Nod. Uh, I think it's called Tus Italia. And that one also has like a combination of different fruity ingredients, but there is peach in there as well. And of course, I know Cameron Bird, a fellow YouTube fragrance reviewer, has his own um, fragrance. Uh, and he's based out of Carolina. He has a peach-based one as well. Anyway, I digress. By Dossier, we have Ambery Peach. Beautiful, beautiful expression of the note of peach and almost a carbon copy alternative of Bitter Peach by Tom Ford, and you're gonna save a lot of money. So this is totally unisex. This one is marketed for the gentleman. Original Santal by Creed. Now, I purchased this many, many years ago, uh, not when it came out, but many years after the fact, and this has a lot of cinnamon and sandalwood. Yes, it gets compared to Yop Um. It also gets compared to uh, Individuel by Mont Blanc, and Individuel actually came out first. So, original Santal, not very original, but in its place by Ainash Parfum, you can get Perfect Man. Beautiful presentation. Yeah, I know it looks like a Zerzhov bottle. They could have done it a little differently just to kind of establish their own identity, but this one is beautiful. Honestly, it smells very, very close to the Creed counterpart, and I'm telling you, the performance is there as well, which I really appreciate, and I have been wearing that one a lot in place of the Creed. Of course, here we have the actual Zerzhov, Herba Pura. Now this is a tropical fruity cocktail type of a fragrance. It has this sort of passion fruit, melon vibe in the heart. And of course it has this grassy accord in here as well. And I love this one. You know, I also have Herba Gold, Herba Leather. Um, it's just a great fragrance and it's a bestseller for a reason. I've recommended it to so many people. And I personally know of several people who have purchased it on my recommendation. Here's one that I recently acquired and this one is only like 30, 40 bucks online, so it's really, really cheap. By Risala, it's called Pure Ombre. And of course, it even has like the same sort of a teal aquamarine color to the bottle. This one is a bit lighter. Uh, the presentation is really interesting as well. Um, I like how it kind of has its own identity. 
Um, it has a little gemstone on the front here, and uh, it's just a really nice fragrance. The lasting power is also very good. And let me tell you something, Erba Pura, the original, is a really, really long lasting fragrance. Same thing can be said about a lot of Zerzhov fragrances, if we're being honest. But in the number one spot, and I know Creed fragrances are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This is unisex. The perfume in the number one spot is marketed for the ladies. So if you're a lady watching this video, consider getting this alternative. If you're a gentleman watching this video, you want to buy it for a lady in your life or even for yourself. Who cares, right? If you like the way that it smells, wear it. This one by Creed is called Carmina. This is such a beautiful rose-based perfume. It's sensual, it's romantic, it's magnetic, it's great for a date night, but it's also great as a signature scent, if we're being honest. It's not as dark or heavy as something like Queen of Silk, which can be a little bit on the fruity side of things. And it's also not as light and airy as something like Windflowers or Aqua Fiorentina, which is kind of in the middle. This one has a really interesting personality and I love it, right? Carmina is a beautiful, beautiful perfume. Well from the Dua brand, and this is one that I've spoken about on my channel before, and I will continue to talk about it because every time I respray this one and I smell it again, I'm reminded of just how good it smells. By the Dua brand, it's called The Poem. And again, you're gonna save tons and tons of money by going with these alternatives. Look, I own the original, I own the dupes, I've tried all of these, I know what they smell like, and I can vouch that there is a great deal of similarity existing between the dupe and the original. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the viewership. I hope you took something of value from today's episode. Five dupe fragrances that are so good you don't really re need the original. So let me know. If you took anything of value from this video, drop your comment down below and let me know what inspired expressions or clones or dupes do you like to wear in place of their original counterparts. I always love the interaction. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.